So let's go back to this guy who keeps the cap on. <laughs> He's got a little fez on him here. Uh, what do we? What can we take? He can take a crew report. He can take a gravity scan. Let's go ahead and keep that data. Might as well do the crew report. Keep it. One of one of you guys. You guys are going to have competing crew reports, and one of you is going to get it, and one's not. The moon looks crazy with this pack. I'm not sure if I like it, to be honest with you. I kind of like the more stark moon than this kind of fuzzy moon. But uh, yeah, we don't want to do those experiments. Okay, you though, you have. A maneuver node to plan way up here in three years you are gonna slow down enough to get your periapsis down to one million meters uh, there we go four three two one and there we go under 1 million meters that's going to take 1240 and we have 1357 so he has barely enough fuel to do this and what we're going to do here is once you do this then we're going to have to we're going to have to plan your carbon uh capture which could take decades for all i know i have no idea how long it's going to take <laughs> um and we should probably burn a little bit more than we are uh let's burn retrograde another 10 just to bring it down enough so that uh, so that when you hit um, when you hit that at periapsis, we actually have time to take the readings that we want to take, including the crew report and all that stuff. Okay, well you're you're useless now. We don't care about you. So let's hop back to the other ship, which we can't get to anymore. So let's hop back to him. Uh, if we zoom in far enough, there we go. Switch to. Oh, what do you have for science? Material study, yeah, we're not going to do it. Okay, now your job now is to, when we get to Elu, we have to plan this maneuver node. Just past where we connect. We are going to speed up until Elu catches up to us. Which is right about there, and there's an encounter. That's all we care about right now. That is a 726 meter per second burn. We have plenty, but we need a plenty because we got to then actually land and get back. But other than that, we don't have anything to do. Oh, let's do another gravity scan. Over Moon's Highlands, keep it. Okay, he, the ship in front of me just left Moon's Sphere of Influence. And then we're just a couple seconds from doing that ourselves. Which means, in theory, we could have more experiments to do. But apparently not. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to hop to the other ship. I just realized. Because he's going to leave Kerbin first. So we want to... Actually, let's rename him. We're going to name him Sun Grazer. Or maybe we could name him Sun Paulo. <laughs> uh, let's see. Rename vessel. Sun Paulo. Why not? Okay, and then if we delete this. There we go. Sun Paulo in five hours. So let's go ahead and crank up time until that happens. Close the alarm and pause. Now we're going to jump to this ship. Let's see what science he has. Probably just the material. Oh, there's a gravity scan. Well, I might as well do it. Over the Kerbin's Deserts. Why not? Hop out. Let's take care of that. Okay. And let's see. What are we? 50 seconds away. Close the alarm and pause. We are now in Sun Sphere of Influence. And it is now time. Let's see. Yeah, we're the first one to go. It's in three years. So let's watch map mode as we go and go. Okay, I'm not going to make you watch this. Let's go and close this. I'm not going to make you watch this. It's going to be two years away. I will be back when we are out there. Okay, something horrible has happened. We are way outside of where we should be. To the point where I feel 
justified restoring from the quick save I made before Moon. Because I honestly have no idea how this happened. This has got to be a bug in something. <laughs> um, yeah, we're supposed to be here, and we're here. So I am sadly going to restore from the quick save. I'll do the, all this off camera, and when we are back, uh, I will be back, I guess. Okay, well, I kept these guys together this time, and I also um, didn't almost crash into the moon. I, I just... Oh, that's a cool-looking picture. <laughs> I also um, made sure that you know, I, I, I stopped the burn early so that they wouldn't crash into the moon. So now I need to burn prograde a little bit to actually get the orbit back out to Elu. still my target yeah so we're gonna see the connection here there okay oh more science gravity over our deserts keep the data <laughs> it is kind of crazy that what we're the the experience we get i also found out why moon looks so goofy um it's because i had the the um ambient light turned up uh oh re review this data yeah, we don't want that. Reset that experiment. Where's the mystery goo for this thing? Did I forget the mystery goo? Oh my god, I forgot the mystery goo for Elu. There was I was I had mystery goo on top of each one of these things at some point. <laughs> oh well, we're not taking any mystery goo to Elu. I guess we're gonna miss out on that scientific data. Ah, okay. <laughs> no big deal. Okay, we are a day away. So let's speed up again. We're going to make up for it by getting all this gravity data. And here we go. Sphere of influence change, completely obliviated. Closing arm on pause, and we're back to normal. Okay, good. And it's the, the kind of the sphere of influence that we expected it to be. Now, another thing we learned is that the Elu ship doesn't, or the, the, sorry, the Sun ship doesn't have as much fuel as I would like it to have. So I am going to actually give it some out of here. I think I'm going to fill up its tanks. From the Elu ship, which should have more than it needs. Okay, then we're going to say goodbye to you guys. And we're going to start with the sun ship, I guess. The one... Actually, which one are we? Which one are we controlling? We're controlling this one. So yeah, let's start with the sun ship. We'll, we'll change his name again. Renamed vessel. Sun Paulo. Let's get his maneuver node out here, all set up. There we go. Twelve ninety eight, and he's got sixteen eighty eight, which is should be plenty to get to to find a Kerbin encounter afterwards. So good luck, bananas. Enjoy your journey. Oh, get your solar panels out so you don't run out of power. Now enjoy your journey. And Elu Palo, we need to plan your maneuver to meet with Elu. There we go. Uh, and now this time Sun Paulo is the first one. And I don't know which one of these... Okay, this is the one we don't care about. Okay. So we have two maneuver nodes. Sun Paulo is the one we care about. So we are going to jump to ship and restore maneuver node. And uh, I think we can actually hit F5 this time instead of doing that. And we're just going to watch these guys slowly drift apart. Uh, yeah, we're in Sun Sphere of Influence, so nothing is going to happen. There goes Apollo B. And Rob, you are outside of our physics window, and now you are out of sight. And slow down. There we go. <laughs> and yeah, see, it's a whole 114 days before his. It's crazy out here how how quick stuff happens. But all we really care about is that our sun periapsis, and we don't, well, I'll tell you what, we'll do this here. We'll get this going. 
Um, all we really care about is our periapsis height has to get below a million meters. That way we'll be we'll be we'll be able to get close to the sun science. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and turn off time warp and delete the maneuver node marker. Let's get our periapsis nice and low. Let's go down to say 950. There we go. Okay, he is set until periapsis. So we're going to bring the alarm clock up here. We're going to add a periapsis alarm. Uh, one minute before is fine. Let's add that alarm. And we here has nothing to do for two years. So let's hop to Eel Apollo B. Okay, we are way out here. We are also kind of close to our maneuver node, I guess. There it is. It's a 697 meter per second burn. We actually have an engine that we should activate, give ourselves even more thrust. Let's hit F5, because I hate changing, uh, whoops, I hate changing staging here. But this engine is off. Now it's on. Okay, now we have four engines <laughs> to help us out here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves aimed at our maneuver node. Okay, it's, uh, what is it, 600 meters per second? It's gonna be tiny, it's gonna be maybe 30 seconds or so. Let's go down to 30 seconds. Not that it matters. That's about a minute. No big deal. This far out doesn't really matter. The important thing is getting this uh, encounter with Elu. And I could also burn radially to make the eventual encounter easier, but I'm not that concerned, really. I got plenty of Delta V. At least I think I do. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to delete this maneuver node so we can watch our Elu closest approach not be anywhere near where, where it said it was. That's Jewel. Here's Elu. Yeah, I'm not sure why this is telling me it's over here. Grr. I thought I had deleted the maneuver node and apparently it reset it. I've seen that happen before. I'm glad I caught it now. Right after we passed the closest approach. Okay, there we go. We have our encounter with Elu. So where is Elu? Let's focus our view on it. Actually a pretty good encounter, to be honest. That one's better. Okay, I'm going to fix the normal when we get uh, normal to it. Which is going to be... Let's see, we're here now. We're going to meet it here. Uh, so let's do it when we're here. Now if we fiddle with the normal here, we should be able to fix this right quick. Uh, for some reason it's not. Oh, I know what it is. It's that stupid orbit thing. Oh, I hate that. Okay, we can fix that with precise note. Okay, we need to go minus an orbit. There we go. The game screw screweth up and precise node fixeth it. Okay, now if we go normal plus by one. It does not do anything close to what I want, but orbit minus does. And then radial away, no, radial towards, more normal minus, that's closer to what we want. And we're not going to be able to even get that close to it, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to aim at this and then we'll, we'll do it when the time comes. I think I'm going to disable these three engines. Should have thought that this was going to be necessary and set up to an action group, but no big deal. And I'm going to set this engine on a thrust limiter of 12%. Okay, this maneuver node is in two years, and it's the next thing to happen. So let's crank up time. And it doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to do the burn now. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, even with the th super thrust limited engines. It was kind of crazy there. Okay, so let's go this way. I love when rotating. <laughs> I want to go south. I need to delete this node. Okay, we want to go south. I think. Actually, I think we want to go north, now that I'm thinking about it. I should have tried south, because I'm probably wrong. <laughs> I love how the act of rotating the ship makes decides whether or not the orbit's going to be above or below. Oh my god, I was right. I'm like Fezzik. Okay, that right there is perfect. That is going to get us an Elu encounter, and I think it's backwards, but I don't care. Elu rotates pretty pretty slowly, if I remember correctly. Um, rotation period five hours. Eh, that's actually fairly big. Okay, then let's uh, say we don't want to go north or south. We want to go radial in a direction. Let's see what this does. Okay, we want to go the other way, radial. And then we also want to go south, which will take us north. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yes. That is good. Um, okay, next thing's going to happen to Sun Paul, so we're going to jump to him. Bananas! How you doing? How has the last couple years been? You seem to be happy about that. <laughs> okay, we're still really far from the sun. How far out are we? We are still outside of... Oh, we still have our maneuver node. That's kind of funny. Yeah, we don't need that. We are we are outside of Duna still. We just came inside of Dre's orbit. So here we go. We are going to come in here, get low over the sun... The first Kerbin to be this close to the sun. And I was kind of expecting... Oh, we're still not within a million. Okay, let's do a temperature scan, a mystery goo, a materials bay, an EVA report. Hope I didn't just screw everything up by doing that. Keep the data, hop back in. Crew report, keep the data. Okay, now hop back out, even though it is very hot out there. Let's go ahead and take this data. Take this data. Uh, crawl, crawl down a little bit. Take this data. Uh, yep, take it out. Collect this data. Yep, take it out. We don't want it anymore. Hop in. Okay, now it's all about finding a Kerbin encounter. So set him as a target. Sadly, we're going to have to go all the way back out <laughs> in order to fix our inclination here. 2.1. Uh, so we're going to go burn down. I don't know what this is telling me, to be honest. What if we burn radial instead of prograde? Let's actually burn radial in a certain amount of... Boom, this will be our encounter right here. Do we have the gas for this? 202. We have 403. Let's do it. Okay, so that's your maneuver. And it is... Uh, actually, we don't care about this periapsis alarm yet. So it's in three years. It's the next thing to happen. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to fast forward. I'm going to focus on Kerbin. Yeah, we can do better than that, obviously. Close the alarm and unpause. We don't need to wait for this thing. We're just going to do it. He says right before hitting F5. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> look at that. The last couple meters per second. And it looks like, yeah, we, we've overplanted it, so I'm going to just sneak it in here like that. And then all we got to do is normal it. So let's uh, delete this node and make a new one. Anywhere along this line, we're going to have to minus an orbit on it. Now, if we burn radially south, I'm sorry, normally south, that will bring us down north a little bit. And then radially away from the sun. Bam! That is what we call a collision. <laughs> we'll just smack it straight in. Okay, and that is a 7.1 meter per second burn. We do have it, obviously. So, you're coming home, bananas. And it is the next thing to happen. That's crazy. We're going to get all this done before... Before we even need to uh, deal with Elu Palo. Okay, what do we got? Two days away. Let's zoom back in on Kerbin, because we're going to want to do this while watching Kerbin. Let's do it over here so we don't have to look at the sun. And let's close the alarm and unpause, and as before, let's just do the burn. And I believe that is a touch. Okay, we are hitting Kerbin, and I don't care where. It literally does not matter. All that matters is he is going to be entering Kerbin's sphere of influence in a mere uh, 200 days. So let's go ahead and do this. That's cool. He's going to land. He's going to be landing like right around the same time that Eopalo is going to get to Elu. Okay, Kerbin should be coming around the bend here. Don't see it. Might be directly in front of us, but I don't know that for a fact. We're only three days away from our sphere of influence change. And boom, we're in the sphere of influence. Okay, let's make sure we're still crashing. We are. Sadly, it's on the night side, but... There is almost literally nothing we can do about it. Um, I guess we can burn south to get our impact longitude at zero, or latitude at zero. So we're nice and equatorial. Not that it matters. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to leave it at this. Okay. Where is Kerbin? Let's see. Let's face Kerbin. Or let's face our butt at Kerbin, I should say. There's Kerbin, way off in the distance. Let's go ahead and set our orbit mode to free. Get Kerbin right there. Whoa! <laughs> we are coming in it. 12 meters per second. This is going to test my uh, my theory. Actually, let's turn the uh, let's turn the ambient light up. This is not going. We're not speeding up time here. This is this is the time lapse of the game. Um, we are going to test. Can you actually come down at any speed and still survive? <laughs> okay, we're in the atmosphere. We are going 12 kilometers per second. Almost 13. There go our solar panels. Look at that. Three, two, we're one. We're going less than a kilometer per second now. And we're at terminal velocity. <laughs> okay, let's pull the chute. <laughs> and boom, we're safe. <laughs> we're going to lose the science bay and maybe even the, uh, the liquid fuel here. Go ahead and burn it off. Actually, let's not burn it off. I, the last thing I want to do is accidentally drop the parachute. Let's go ahead and just get down to, to here. We're 72 days away from Elu. 
We are 100 meters off the ground. Bananas is returning a hero. A hero of Kerbal Kind. <laughs> and he kept his science bay intact. And we're going to recover his vessel because there's no reason to do, to do an EVA. We've been in the water before. Bananas, you brought home 220 science from the sun. Congratulations. Okay, we don't care about Sun Polo anymore. Let's hop out to Eel Polo. <laughs>